the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. Good morning. God bless you. Hey, everybody. I hope you had a great Saturday. Hope you had a great week last week. Hope you're going to have a great week coming up. And yes, everybody going to have different things coming up this week. Um, because those are the challenges of life. We, we have challenges, right? Uh, we, we Even for me, uh, last week, a week for last, a couple of weeks, we had, we had uh, a parent uh, had a uh, had a surgery, uh, and and then come up from, in this case, my mother, and and that's that's you know she's 86 years old. Uh, we also had a tragedy in the family, uh, and then we even saw the tragedy, similar tragedy, with the uh, Tyree, uh, the young man that was beaten to death by you know five police officers or more. And the the when you saw that you saw the the, the what I saw was the the, the the tragedy of a cultural war. Uh, cultural wars comes in many different forms. It's not restricted to one particular race against another uh, particular race. It's, 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 it's a cultural thing that, that has been happening throughout this world, through the history of mankind, uh, a cultural war uh, that that pits one fellow human being against another human being, uh, and I, and I want to talk about that this this Sunday session, the 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 kingdom of God versus cultural wars. You know, because so many times it had, cultural wars have been able to come into even the gospel or bypass the gospel. Or cause people to forget about the gospel and, and, and focus on the cultural wars. Cultural wars, what I mean is when when you find a difference it's based on cultural belief and understandings, where you divide the human race. See, I think everybody, I know everybody listening right now will agree that there's one race. It's called the human race. And, and, and if, if you don't think that you're part of the human race, then that means you must be an alien, right? Uh, if you sit there and try to sit there and say that there's a, there's a, a black race and a white race, you, you, know you, death, or, you, know, you know that's not right, right? Whether, whether you like it or not, that's not right. You're human. All of us are human. And, and, and we, need to start, we need to get over this racial divide these cultural divides because and, and don't think that this is uh, contained within a, a black race and a white race it's not there, there were wars in Europe against the French and the England or the Germans in England you know what I mean it was they, they were fighting each other and they was fighting each other in Africa. They'll fight each other in, in, in uh, the Middle East, of which is Africa. They'll fight each other in, in Russia. You got Stalin, and, and then we're Stalin, and, and uh, they killed millions of people uh, in a culture war in China. There was a huge war, too. In order to get to the one China uh, belief, there were millions of people killed, millions of people killed uh, to unite a group of people uh, and has been constant and consistent through man's history to to fight each other to fight one another see we're all brothers and sisters whether you well I forget about whether you believe it or not because it doesn't matter whether you believe it or not we're all brothers and sisters we all are 99 percent the same human beings and and we use the different types of things such as color skin and that's not the only thing we use we'll use where you came from what continent you came from we use uh 
what what what's what country you belong to you know you came from uh we, we'll use uh what religion did you have uh we have it we have division based on denominations in the christian faith uh we have division between one religion and christianity or or from you know, from like from Buddhism, uh, you got from those who don't believe and believe, you got people that 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 have, you know, believe in worshiping the devil and, you know, and a witchcraft and, 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 and you got all these different types of things that are devised to house the human race. You know, it's, it's nothing wrong for you to have your different opinions and, 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 and consolidating yourself with one group of people to believe in and live a certain way. What's wrong is when we hurt each other and, and kill each other because of our differences and in and, and a, a way we want to worship. Uh, the, and, and, you know, like that's most people, I think some people got, you know, you came from uh, the people that came from Europe came from Europe to to have uh, called it religious freedom, to be able to worship Christ the way they wanted to worship Christ. You know, in England, you had the Church of England, you had the Catholic Church, and you had they they were fighting each other, the Protestants against the Catholics. They, I mean, and there was some bloody wars with that. Um, so, so what you have is is, is divisions and dividing over and over again and and even this and, and one of the things that was i was listening to this week uh and one thing we used to do in my in a study group that i had uh was the water fountain effect uh brother Asin coming on now matter of fact he's coming in right when i get, get ready to get started brother Asin, good morning good morning I was sitting there, uh, I, I was listening to, I, I think I said to you the TikTok on it, but it was a point of where people have been duped, especially people that are in the middle class and, and poor class in this country, uh, where the rich get richer and, and the culture wars takes precedence and distracts people from the the overall purpose of providing for one another. Uh, what I mean is, you know, like the the uh, the black and white issue, uh, where and and I, I'll go bring in the part I'll tell you about. We we've talked about many times about the water fountain. You know, uh, the the rich people told the the uh, the white people or the poor people. Then we're gonna give you. We're gonna give you something of value. It won't be money, but it's gonna be a value. What we're gonna do, first of all, to even justify parts of the the atrocities and the bad things of slavery, is that they won't be able to look you in the eye. They won't be able to drink from the, as you move on, they won't be able to drink from the same water fountain or eat in the same restaurant. They, 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 we, they're going to sit in the back of the bus and you're going to be able to sit in the front of the bus. You, you, you will be able to go to good schools and they will go to bad schools. Uh, we're going to, we're going to sit there even. And I'm, I'm bringing this up a lot of times. We're gonna we're gonna have a red line district where see these people they they won't get good they won't get the funding for housing and and, and improving their neighborhood and buying new homes and stuff like that. We just gonna be, it's just gonna be you in the green neighborhood. See that line is meant for we can give you loans. We're gonna take care of you. Uh, it's it's and now when we talk about the healthcare situ situations or even talking about social security or medicaid we're gonna we're gonna, we're gonna take that from we're gonna, we're gonna take it off the off the off the system because see, we can't afford that and we want you to recognize that because see these other people also getting benefits from that and we you don't you don't we don't want to have that we could give all these entitlements to people because you know we don't want to give those people that those entitlements so we got to take them away from all of you but you know we're going to give you this water fountain we're going to give you this 
going against these people that are woke. You know, here's another one. Come on, right? The woke mentality. Uh, oh, we're gonna re we're gonna rewrite history too because see, history is 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 not valuable. See, these in Florida it says that we're not gonna have an African American study, advanced study, or AP class because it's full of. It's, it's not has no value and it and it's full of is inaccurate in history and uh the, the woke the critical racist uh, theory and all that other stuff is 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 a cultural war to to distract the fact is that hey why are we doing this to you now and why are we sitting there fighting this war for you and I don't care if it's a war. Sometimes they talk about even with the gender race, right? The, the homosexual thing and all that stuff. We, we're going to fight these war for you. We're going to fight. Oh, we're going to fight the abortion thing for you. You know, we're going to fight that for you. But we're going to give the rich people 98% tax cuts. Matter of fact, we'll get to the point where we're going to give them no tax cuts. We're going to get them so that they can get their inheritance uh, they can pass their inheritance to their children without paying taxes. We, you know, we, we're going to give them all the benefits. They're going to have their health care. They're going to have, you know, they're going to have everything. But we, we're going to take it from the poor people and the middle class people. Uh, we're going to tax those people. See, we're going to give permanent tax to the rich. But we're going to give, we, you know, we can't give permanent tax to you guys. You know, you, you, but you know, we don't want, you know, it's okay because see, we giving you the water fountain. That's what I'm trying to say. And most people probably say, we're talking about water fountain. Well, back in the 60s, when they were talking about blacks getting in the back of the bus, there was a water fountain that was for people that are white, and then there was a water fountain for people that are color. There was a bathroom. There was a bathroom for people of color, and there was a, people, people, a bathroom for people who were white. <laughs> uh, there was a time where a black person couldn't go into the front of a store. They had to go behind the store. Uh, there, in other words, there was different right restrictions to, from the Jim Crow laws and, and all those things to include all the way back to slavery itself. Uh, where the we we we're gonna call these people ignorant because we're not gonna it's gonna be illegal to teach them how to read, but they can't read because they're ignorant people. But the reality is they we won't let them read because we don't want to give them a benefit. Uh, and then I was talking before you came in about the uh, cultural war that was in in Europe from you know starting from the caste system and, and then talking about from the church of england and the protestant movement and the catholic movement and the fights against each other so it's not restricted to color is what i also want to say it is it, 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 it's, it's it's man uh and it's the spiritual warfare where we find ways to hurt one another instead of recognizing that we're all brothers and sisters see there's only reality is there's only one race it's called a human race you know there, there, there's no there's that uh, white black brown all those are cultural social constructs that people created and what i want to be able to talk about today is the culture war versus the kingdom of god and what i'm really going to point out is that in the kingdom of god god made all of us the same all of us human beings and in reality these are just houses that we use to walk in this world people we we actually and i think brother as agree we, we we're spiritual beings and we're gonna walk we're gonna once these this house expire we're gonna walk out of this house and then we're gonna be in the spiritual realm and this thing about this color and all other stuff could be irrelevant because this only was the house that we're in. So I, I want to be able to talk that today. And then we're just starting some scriptures to go with it. But I was setting this, the, the theme of the point of cultural war versus the kingdom of God. And how do we both say, how many people have gone off the kingdom of God to, to do the things and use the tools? I'm back. I was frozen. Uh, second there. Yeah, I stopped talking too when I saw it frozen too. Anyway, th so that's the basic theme you were talking about. I was trying to say it's a, it's a culture war versus the kingdom of God. Meaning, how are we supposed to treat each other in the kingdom of God, opposed to how culture wars causes us to treat each other different and hurt one another? So here's my uh, 
theme here, or at least reference what I want to be able to talk about. And then you can chime in when we get there. But look at the title. The title is Teaching the Gospel of Yeshua's Way. That's what we want to teach. But the point we're we'll be able to do is talk about using evil to fight cultural wars over the kingdom of God. And and that's the really I talk about is not only is it's not a wrong with you having a culture, is it what's wrong is when you do use evil to to do and fight a cultural war over the things over the kingdom of God, meaning what is God's way? Christ said in John 14, 6, I'm the way, the truth, and the life, right? No one comes to the Father but by Him. So if you're going to go to the Father, you have to go the way Christ taught you, people. I, I, if, if that's not clear for any of you, it needs to be clear today. That statement is that Christ is the way. So if you're going to operate and whatever culture you're going to have, if that culture is contradiction to the kingdom of God, then your culture is the problem. You, you, and and you, you're trying to get into the kingdom, but you can't because your culture, and I think Christ used a better word, you, your traditions have made the word of God a non-effect to you. It is the word of God will always have an effect, but to you, it has no effect because your traditions. Does that make sense? Yeah. I mean, and so so we and think about it, but we want to make sure those people are listening, right? Listen, don't let your culture override the will of God for loving one another and getting along with one another, people. Whoever going to listen to this video, because we know some people view it, and we're just telling you the kingdom of God, Christ's way is the only way. I know some of y'all don't like that because you sit there and say, no, I want to do it my way. That's the problem with some of your ways. Some of your ways divide people. Some of your ways hurt people. Some of your ways kill people because you want to do it your way. And your way, if it's selfish, all it does is hurt mankind. So we'll go with this. But we'll first always do is make sure we go through the uh, Lord's Prayer. So I go back up here real quick. This is quick. I always want to just make sure people understand prayer is the most powerful weapon that you have. And I just always recommend that you pray. And this is one I'll put down here, Matthew 6. This is very quick. I'll do this real quick, Brother Asher. Ask this man therefore pray you mean pray Christ gave us. This is a, this is a manner in which Christ taught his disciples and is teaching us today is incorporate the Lord's Prayer in your prayers, what I always want to say. So he said, you don't have to do the verbatim. You can pray the way you want to pray. We just want to think you need to consider these, these components in your prayer is what we recommend. And like I said, I do the whole thing. Then I just go ahead and do the things I want to pray about. Our Father in heaven, personal relationship between you and the Father because you don't want to get to heaven. And he said, then say, I never knew you. <laughs> <laughs> so the personal relationship hallowed be that name that kingdom come meaning God is king in your life that will be done that's critical even for you brother Addison what we're talking about is we need to know the will of God for our life what is his will because if you read the word of God and that's what we encourage everybody read the word of God for yourself so you know his will his will is in his word and if you if your culture is something that contradicts his will then you recognize that you can't continue to do those things that are part of your culture so that his will be done and see here's the key to it his will is supposed to be done where in earth as it is in heaven people that's the key to it is you want to do his will in earth as it is in heaven and give us this day meaning yesterday is God so even though we have cultural difference even we have skin color difference even we have different uh, groups and denomination everything else that's yesterday the day is how we focus on how we're going to deal with that today so give us a day in tomorrow the other thing I like about this is not promised anybody so every day is a day to clean up and line up with God's will opposed to the will that other people put on you or opposed to the culture that you put on yourself 
and give us our day our daily bread meaning everything that we do line up with the word of god his will is the word of god his daily bread is the word of god the word was made flesh and dwell among us so he can give us understanding of his word and forgive us of our debts and we give our debt to us and that's the difference between different cultures and some people's culture is like, I don't forgive that person because they're different from me. And that Christ is saying is that is wrong. You have to forgive people. Forgive people the debts as you forgive your debt. You ask for forgiveness from God, then you also need to be able to forgive others. And lead us not into temptation, meaning don't, we don't want to be led to those things that leads to destruction. We're going to be tested, though. And, and, and even Christ was tested, right? He was he was sent to the wilderness and was tested. So you will be tested. It's just the fact that we don't want to be tempted to do things that uh, lead us to uh, giving in to things of more immoral things. And and sometimes I think some of the cultural things <laughs> does that. Uh, but delivers from evil, and that's that's what everybody needs to understand because there's evil people. You know, I, I told you my nephew got killed, right? Uh, if I didn't, one of my nephews was killed uh, recently, and about two weeks ago, uh, on a drive-by shooting. And, and 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 the sad thing about it was, it you see how it's such a senseless death. You know, when you take a young man at 26 years old and, and, and no longer alive because somebody thought it was important to take that person's life. Uh, and then we saw Tyree. The, you know, you saw that one. Uh, that Did we talk about that last week? Tyree? The, yeah, for, yeah for, a minute. for a minute, right? Uh, the, the, that's what that's that's because of a cultural thing, uh, and then and then and why some of our Republican people were talking about well it wasn't a black and white thing it was black on black yeah it was blue on black <laughs> it was it was people who thought that it was if you think about that brother Addison because I think it was more video came out after we talked uh, it was. <laughs> It was it was evil. It was outright. I don't. I have no sympathy. Have no. I have no heart. I, I'm just gonna beat this man silly. And and have no. You know what I mean? No no moral compass at all, right? You know nothing to 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 say. Hey y'all, chill, man. That's enough. That's enough, man. You know. Uh, that's the evil that we're asking on a daily basis from God to deliver us from. Because these things come. Satan comes to steal, kill, and destroy. He comes. And we want, and that's what the Lord's Prayer is talking about, to deliver us from evil. For once again, thine is the kingdom in the power. His kingdom. That's not for his, those things that we saw in Tyree, those things that happened to my nephew. That's not part of God's kingdom. That's the world system. And if we don't understand why it's so important us for the daily prayer to be in his kingdom, to recognize that he's key, to recognize his will, you know, that wasn't his will to beat that Tyree young man to death. That was not his will for my, my nephew to be killed. That's not his will. But that if we don't understand his will and focus on his will, then we fall into those same stupid traps over and over again. Uh, give God the glory and, and, and his power, not our own power. Our own power is just jacked up. We do stupid stuff like this, you know? So so that's the Lord's prayer. And the bottom line is that for thine is the kingdom and the power of the Lord forever, amen. And just remember, forgive is so important and that's sometimes we might have to dedicate over and over again the forgiveness piece because he says right here in 14 for if you give men their trespass you have to follow also forgive you but if you forgive men not their trespasses christ said, my hands are tied this my this is the father in heaven saying if you don't forgive one another we have to we'll forgive the man that shot my nephew 
we forgive those police officers that beat uh, Tyree. We didn't say they don't supposed to get justice. We don't say they don't supposed to not go to trial. We don't say they don't supposed to get convicted if by the jury, by their peers. But we're not going to hold unforgiveness because of them. We're going to recognize that they're forgiven, but they must pay. Because the Bible said, what it says that one that be not deceived, God is not mocked for whatsoever man soweth. That's what you're going to reap. But we want to say, if you don't sow, if you sow into the kingdom, then you sow in life. If you sow into the world system, you sow into the flesh, then you get death. You get what you, what you deserve. So that's that's always a peace by the Lord's prayer. So with that. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, see the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you.